We're standing in the middle of a 14,400 foot by 200 foot runway with a 40 foot cap on each side. This runway will accommodate any aircraft in the world, present or future. We're the real deal. National Test Pilot School is at Mojave Airport for one good reason, and that's the airspace. The airspace right overhead is military operating area 200 nautical miles by 200 nautical miles, and we have access to that airspace. We can go from here straight up into the supersonic corridor, do our supersonic flying, and we're right below it, so we can do supersonic flying to our minimum fuel, come back and land at Mojave Airport. We are the only private civilian test pilot school in the world that grants a master's degree. The students in the professional course can graduate in flight test engineering. The best thing about Mojave is probably A, the weather, B, the airspace, because we're considered like a squadron of Edwards Air Force Base and we can operate in the airspace, and the people that we have to work with here in Mojave. We're probably one of the biggest users of the airport since we have the biggest number of airplanes here and we probably put in more flight hours in these two companies. I think we're up to 48 aircraft from supersonic airplanes to Cessna 172s and a mix of helicopters in between all of that. We try to juggle 32 to 45 flights in one day and if we can work with the people here at Mojave and the people at Edwards in the same airspace, then it would be an impossibility. Mojave Air and Spaceport is, is a special place out in the desert. It is a center of aerospace development and a real hotbed of creativity and uh, fantastic things going on. In fact, it's somewhat analogous to Silicon Valley only for the aerospace business and specifically new space. The stuff that happens here doesn't happen anyplace else. Only in Mojave can you be talking to one rocket company and listening to another one work. <laughs> Maston Space Systems is working on a series of launch vehicles, rocket-powered launch vehicles. We came to Mojave because this is an excellent place uh, out away from the big cities where neighbors won't complain that you're firing rocket engines <laughs> and making lots of noise. They're actually used to dealing with people who are building and testing hardware. You know, there's other places in the world that you know, also have aerospace centers, but you know, for the you know, commercial and entrepreneurial uh, space market, this is really the place to be. Air Launch LLC is a small business. We are building a small rocket called the Quick Reach. Protoflight LLC is our subcontractor here, and it's where we do all of our engine testing, development work, the hardware for our C-17 drop tests, and brainstorming and engineering that goes on with rapid prototyping projects. Mojave Air and Spaceport is also a great place for young people to find entrepreneurial work. This is a place to be. They can have hands-on experience and go on to do great things. Fiberset is a composite manufacturing company focusing primarily on prototyping through production. The technologies of aerospace prototyping actually are very transferable to other industries, especially the wind energy business here. I really can't say what we might see in the next 10 to 15 years. Those are all in everyone's black shops right now, but I do know that we can see the future from here. Having rail at this airport helps every tenant on the field. We've added a rail spur this last year. We bring not only rail wheels into Mojave through Progress Rail, which is a division of Caterpillar, but we bring product into the airport in the form of resin that goes out in the form of airplanes. We are John and Patricia Sharp of Nemesis Air Racing in Mojave, California, where dreams come true. This is our airplane that we designed and built. We've won two national championships in a row. We set three new speed records with it. What we really like about Mojave is the imagination and the atmosphere of, of innovation that's here. They just say, yes, dream it, do it, build it. We have front row seats to everything that goes on here. It's just, it's amazing. The most incredible things fly here. The most incredible. What's the best thing about Mojave? Well, it's the reason that we're here, really, and that is this has an environment that supports rather than is afraid of experimental research testing. Three, two, one, release. I started my career in Air Force flight testing, and I've been doing all of my flight testing here at Mojave Airport since 1974. Get your nose up. 38 times since I've been here and we've gone out to fly an airplane that had never been flown before. 
And those first flights are the things that you remember as being the most fun, the most challenging, the most risky, and the reasons that we're in this. Flight test is our best card. This is the only inland uh, commercial spaceport. It's actually the only one that's suitable for us to fly the vehicles like Spaceship One and Spaceship Two. We have alternate airports, we have alternate dry lake beds, we have excellent visibility. We have really a perfect environment that allows that to handle almost routinely the recovery of a gliding spaceship, which we did three times from space on Spaceship One. But I look at it also as a place where we'll be launching small satellites from our launch airplanes in some point in the future, even doing manned orbital operations right from the airport. See, when I got here, Mojave was known as the last bastion of cowboy flying. You could do about anything you wanted to do, anything you could dream about, anything you had enough guts to go and try. Well, if you're around Burt Rutan very long and you fly for him, you have an opportunity to try to fly a whole bunch of real weird airplanes. Bert is the genius designer. He's the guy that has all these visions. And like when he said he was gonna fly around the world unrefueled, that was a huge step. And a handful of people built a spacecraft and made a couple of astronauts. And you know why? Because they had the courage to try. And that philosophy alone will grow into something we can't even imagine right now. And you know where it all started? Mojave.